All right, everyone, Pete Booty Judge has decided to leave the 2020 Dem field. That is that now the entire front running section are old white rich people who have been in politics their whole lives. Bloomberg attendant uh, to politics, of course, Biden and Sanders and then Bloomberg. Bloomberg may be an afterthought, however, on Super Tuesday. We're not exactly sure. And as usual, we don't have a lot of good polling um, in the lead up to it. That's unfortunate. Uh, Booty Judge being out, I think, my hunch, is that his fans, who in some states he has a reasonable number of, and in some states he's basically a blip on the radar, keep that in mind as we analyze this, I have a feeling they're going to prefer Biden over Bernie Sanders for ideological purposes. Booty Judge has been very, very careful to cultivate an image of himself as moderate and conciliatory and almost Obama-esque. And so the fans, the block that he amalgamated, tend to be more on that moderate side. They're, they're not, they don't want Joseph Stalin to be president, a.k.a. Bernie Sanders, uh, so they probably, I would assume, oppose him. He hasn't endorsed. That would be important. If he had dropped and immediately said, well, Biden's your guy, you know, we've got to get behind him because we've got to stop socialism or something, that would seal the deal. Here's the problem. Biden has only been ahead in two of the Super Tuesday states, comfortably tied in a third. Everywhere else, Sanders is ahead. In most of these states, that is an underwhelming lead of a couple of points. But will he get a two or three point bump uh, quickly enough from Booty Judge and exiting the race? We're not sure. Because it depends on the state. In some states, Booty Judge is running in the, in the mid-single digits, and in other states, he, he looked viable. He decided to leave. Because what he had done, and, and this was a, a great strategy on paper, I suppose. Booty Judge focused mainly on Iowa and New Hampshire uh, and, and going forward. And, and so in Iowa, he technically wins the state, at least in terms of delegate count. He doesn't quite win the popular vote. He comes very close second in New Hampshire. Booty Judge never got, though, a bounce. Just like initially when he started to rise, it was cut short by Bloomberg entering the field. At that point, he became doomed because he never got his shot at actually promoting his platform to a larger audience. He remained an afterthought. Booty Judge was always the bridesmaid and never a bride. Now, it's funny because he was talking about viability. Well, I, I had no path forward, so I decided to leave the race. If Booty Judge, who was a reasonably close third in the delegate total, who won Iowa, came close to New Hampshire, had no way forward, you know, running fourth nationwide after these other three geriatric lunatics. If he had no way forward, what does that say about Elizabeth Ward and Amy Klobuchar? Steyer had enough sense to drop out. He wasn't much ahead of, uh, of Klobuchar, certainly in, in polling. Uh, there's no reason for Klobuchar to remain in. And this, by the way, will probably give Biden viability. If I had to guess, I'd, I'd give it a 60-40. It's, it's by no means full confidence. I would now favor Biden to win a couple of extra states and be able to continue long after Super Tuesday. There's always going to be somebody who's in the front of the field. There always, as well, has to be someone who's behind them. The problem is that under the delegate rules of the Democratic Party, you could arrive at a point where Biden comes in behind Sanders by whatever margin, but ends up nominated by superdelegates. Or those superdelegates shut up, they get muzzled by the party, the party switches over to being a socialist movement, which alienates the, the moderate Dems. Booty Judge was the last viable candidate, in my opinion, in the field that had, that had any chance of winning. Initially, I said, Booty Judge was the man for the job. He would be the man to beat if he were ever given a shot. He was cut short by Bloomberg. I properly analyzed that several months ago at the time. And since then has really not had the capability of doing anything. Him leaving the field may clear it out for Biden. Because Biden really does need help. He is coming off of a significant victory in South Carolina. He's favored to win North Carolina and Oklahoma already. You know, sort of this southern core of states. If this boost gives him a couple more, I, Biden needs to win four states on Super Tuesday to have a path forward. Otherwise, there's no reason for anyone other than Sanders to be in. Sanders might as well just say, look, I've basically won already. Fucking get out of my way and get out of the race and get out of my life. That, by the way, would be funny, too, because a minority would have essentially usurped the Democratic Party. I wish him well in accomplishing that, by the way. I hope that happens. I hope Sanders sweeps the field and makes it clear the Democrats have decided to endorse socialism. 
At that point, the only thing that can possibly stop him is a move by the DNC itself, which would collapse the party for the whole election. Otherwise, they go far left. They figure how poorly you do when you go far left, because Sanders has no way of pulling himself back to the center for a general election, and they lose anyway. Trump's odds went from 90 to 99, uh, basically overnight, because Booty Judge decided to leave the race. And I do really mean that. He was the last person with any sense in the race, and that's a stretch. <laughs> that's a, he's not a moderate. Booty Judge is not a moderate. What passes for moderate in the Dem field right now is, yes, I want to give uh, uh, free stuff you know, to everyone. Yes, that includes, I, I want to decriminalize illegal aliens and give them free health care. But I don't think that we need to grant them unilateral instant amnesty. So that's considered a moderate position within the Dem field. Yes, I hate billionaires, but I don't want to tax them out of existence. This is, is considered moderate. Uh, I mean, it's yeah, I hate guns, but you know, I still think that people should be able to have black powder revolvers and shotguns. These are considered moderate positions within today's Democratic Party. Honestly, that just shows, it shows how fruity it's become in the last few years, how fucking outside of any possible uh, uh, reason, any possible sense they really have become. Booty Judge sort of bucked this, at least on the surface. He was just as much you know, a fanatic as any of these other extreme far leftists in the race. That being said, he promoted an image of himself as being more conciliatory. He did less of the orange man bad thing certainly less of the America bad thing than we've seen from some of these campaigns. Uh, I never saw him praising, you know, the, the hardline religious fanaticism like Elizabeth Warren just got through the other day. Uh, and, and now that he's gone, presumably this gives Biden a bounce. But we need to wait and see how much it is. This is, by the way, a little bit of a surprise. Booty Judge was less likely to drop out in, in I think, everyone's estimation, certainly than a Klobuchar possibly even than a Warren. Warren, the only reason she's even staying in is she's hoping to win her home state on Super Tuesday, Massachusetts. She may not even get that. Sanders has been edging her by a couple of points in a lot of the polls. If Elizabeth Warren loses her home state, I, I hope she retires with great humiliation because she deserves it for being such an opportunist hack. That's about all. Peace out.